Welcome to System As presentation on EC technology. It's humanity's responsibility to deal with the ever increasing challenges of global warming and climate change. In this presentation, we will discuss the actual situation, our goals and the technology available at our disposal to assist in overcoming these challenges. fragile balance of maintaining a stable greenhouse effect is paramount in sustaining life on our planet. CO2 emissions is one of the greatest causes of destabilizing the greenhouse effect. In the United States, most electricity is generated by coal-fired power stations. We convert the energy from coal to electricity which results in CO2 emissions. Some of the most noticeable climate changes are melting of the polar ice caps, the rise in sea levels, disappearance of the Gulf Stream, hole in the ozone layer, shifting climate zones i.e. desertification and a higher energy content in the atmosphere. Now is the time for change. Recent disasters such as runaway forest fires, earthquakes, tsunamis are proof of the current situation. In the United States, ventilation alone consumes approximately 1.5 terawatt hours per year. We in the ventilation business can do much to alleviate the huge generation of carbon emissions by looking to improve fan efficiency, motor efficiency and system design. We are aware that since 2004 electricity prices have been rapidly increasing and will not be coming down in the foreseeable future. So our goals are clear. We as humanity must conserve energy and reduce CO2 emissions. The good news is that we can do this and also save money and valuable resources. It is possible to save energy using EC technology. By setting the fan to optimal load specific fan power and by using demand control in our HVAC system designs. At System Air we are aware of our responsibility. Our contribution to the modern environmental protection is efficient use of energy. The green ventilation symbol, which is registered to System Air, identifies intelligent technology in harmony with the environment. It shows that our products are suitable for the future. In this way, we offer our customers a means of combining sustainability with economy and reaping the benefit of straightforward, well-planned installations. An EC motor stands for Electronically Commutated Motor. By definition, an EC motor is a DC motor which has an electronic package to rectify the incoming AC supply to DC. As we know, each current carrying conductor generates a magnetic field. By creating a north and south pole, we now create a magnetic field which propels and attracts by changing the current direction, which then results in rotation. The System Air EC external rotor motor is similar to that of an existing AC external rotor motor which is used extensively in applications where low starting torque is required. An external rotor motor has a stationary stator, which is the reverse of a standard AC shafted motor. This results in very good speed controllability and allows the motor heat to dissipate via the rotating rotor fan blade, which acts as an excellent heat sink. EC external rotor motors maintain high efficiency throughout the speed control range. 
all system air EC units can be controlled with a 0 to 10 volt DC signal. We can clearly see in this graph that the EC motors have a higher efficiency. Further advantages of the EC motor are stepless control, no chance of a spark as there are no brushes, no friction loss. Cool operation leads to extended bearing life, which results in longer motor life, integrated motor protection, and an operating range over a broad range of voltages. It is important to select the correct operating point for maximum efficiency. We refer to fan laws to project the fan operational changes. The air volume is directly proportional to fan speed. Fan pressure varies with the square of the fan speed ratio. Fan power varies with the cube of the fan speed ratio. Here we can see a large reduction in power consumption as we lower the fan speed. At 50% of airflow, we only use 12.5% of power which is considerably less than a standard AC motor working at its lowest point. These fan curves clearly show the difference between a conventional AC fan and an EC fan of the same model and type being speed controlled. Take note of the power and specific fan power values when both are operating at the same duty point. A short payback period is guaranteed, and in this illustration, an increase in energy cost has not been considered. Energy savings with demand control. Demand control is about only using what power you really need when you need it. Too long we have wasted energy without consideration, but now we have to take action. In this classroom illustration we show a System Air Topfix FR Energy Recovery Unit being operated by a CO2 control. This control measures the CO2 levels in the building and ventilates according to demand. In this illustration of an airport boarding area, we show a TopVex TR recovery unit with pre-configured timer set to run at high during peak traffic times and low at all other times. With a simple mechanical or electronic timer, the rooftop ECRV can be set to operate for a designated period after which it will switch off or revert to a pre-configured ventilation mode. In this illustration we are using the multi-box unit or MUB in a fan wall configuration to supply air into a building. The MUB is controlled from a temperature sensor that modulates the speed of the fan according to the temperature in the building. In this illustration, the speed of the DVC EC roof exhaust fan is modulated by occupancy sensors in each apartment. This way, only apartments which are occupied are ventilated. In summary, system air green ventilation means EC motors use less energy resulting in lower specific fan power values. Less energy means lower CO2 levels. Less CO2 emissions means lower global warming. Less energy usage means lower energy costs. With demand control we get less heating and cooling energy required. And EC use simple controls through an integrated controller. Thank you for your participation. If you have any questions on this presentation, 
or System Air products, please contact System Air North America at the web address below.